Hey guys, hope you're having a great day today. Today is Monday. Happy Monday morning to you. I hope that your morning is going well. My morning is going great. I'm a little late to the game today. It is almost quarter to seven right now. And I'm like, uh, Mondays I like to get up early, like really early, just because there's a lot to do on a Monday. But unfortunately it didn't happen today and that's okay. I needed sleep, so I got my sleep. So at least I slept in. So now I'm like, I woke up and sometimes you wanna get that like, anxious feeling of like, okay, I gotta get a lot of things done. What do I need to get done? And so I just had to like go, okay, you know what? It's okay, I, I still have plenty of time in my day. What do I need to do right now? What do I need to get done? get my scripture time in with the Lord, get my quiet time in, make sure you do that, don't neglect those things, and then get my list for today, and then I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna start, I'm just gonna start, and we're gonna make it happen. So we had a good weekend, so we had, I filmed food like through Saturday, and then I, the kids and I went skating on Saturday. Oh my goodness, yeah, that was fun. I haven't rollerbladed in mm -hmm. a long time. I'm gonna say 20 something years. It's been a long time, a long, long time. Like I've taken roller skating before, I never went. I always had that fear of like, what if I fall? What if I slip and, you know, break my neck or something? Because, you know, I'm older. Well, we went and I went and I did it. We did it for three hours. We were roller skating. We rollerbladed. We got the blades. And it was a good time. The kids had so much fun. So it was good. We were, it was like, so, but anyways, the next day I woke up and my neck was like, I mean, it wasn't too sore. We've got a couple blisters, but my neck was like, Ooh, you know, you haven't used those muscles in a while. And it was so sore yesterday. I'm like, oh, I can't do this. So went to church, came home, and then um, had to pick up the girls, come back. I also had to go pick up groceries, which you're going to see Wednesday. I just got another grocery haul in, just ordered everything to make my life easier for this week. So wait till Wednesday. You'll see me putting away groceries today, but Wednesday will be the grocery haul. And then I sat on my chair over here and just put my massager out on my neck and just massage. I couldn't even put it on for a minute. I was like, ooh, that is sore. So I had to sit there for a while, a good hour work its way into my neck. So now I feel a whole lot better. You know, it's like sore at first. It's a little tender, but feels so much better, so much better this morning. So I'm like, thank you, Lord. But oh yeah, it was a good time. It was a really good time. So we did good this weekend. And then um, what else did we do? We worked on the garage a little bit. I told you we're gonna start sealing the floor. We didn't seal it. We just painted it and put the paint flex down. It was okay, but then the brake fluid got into it and ripped up. Yeah, that wasn't good. So, <laughs> you know, live and learn, do it right the first time. If you don't do car repair in your garage, it's okay, but I have men that, do that in the garage. So what are you gonna do? So we took the, we did the one side, pulled everything out, and then we got that painted. It's drying. We'll let it dry for a few days and then we'll do the sealer on it so it can be shiny. So definitely do that. And then we were just going to do half the garage. We're going to do all of it, but that's going to require taking everything out of the garage and moving it, which is a good thing because we did put some things in there and I see the functionality of it was not very good. So I'll, we'll move things around, but that'll be later this week. We'll have to work on that. So that was my weekend. So today I got up and the house smells like burnt popcorn. You know how you wake up and you're like, what does that smell? <laughs> so we had the kids had, we had like, yes, the food. We did dishes, dishes were here and here. Um, that was all cleaned up and wonderful. But then, um, then the girls were gone. So nobody, nobody did anything and that's okay. So everything's in the sink. I think the dishwasher's full. Is it full? It probably is. Oh yeah, and that's clean. So I need to wash. This was dinner. There's just stuff everywhere. There's, they had popcorn, it burned, so that just smelled wonderful. So the trash things like that. It's just gotta get cleaned up. I got um, groceries over here to put away, just a few. You're gonna see that. It's gonna be a good day. I don't have, I look, I don't know where my list is. I have to get my Monday list off over here. Remember how we put this over here? Do we got Monday on top, hopefully? Sunday. Oh, I didn't put Sundays up. I didn't even put Sundays up. I've got Sunday, Saturday, they're all out of order. There's Monday. Tuesday, I'm gonna put Wednesday in there. So I've got Monday right here. The thing is, I'll put this right here so I know my jobs. And the good thing, there's not a ton. Like I try to balance out my week so I don't have a ton of cleaning. There'll be enough just picking up, putting away groceries, getting school out. We didn't, last week was not a successful school week. We did stuff, but I don't feel like I had a good week of school. So this week, we're home a lot more. I'm gonna be able to get some school stuff done. So that was like, okay, that's my goal. Stay home more, stay home good. It's always good to get school work done. If you don't mind, get out and do things. But this is gonna be a stay home week. So most of the time we are gonna, we are gonna go and do things, but not like last week. I feel like we were gone three or four, probably three or four days. There was a lot of days I had to run. I mean, it wasn't all day, but it was enough where I did running and then the rest of your day was gone. 
So this week is going to be stay home and get things done. So you have a busy, crazy week, your house a mess, stay home and get things done. <laughs> if you can, if you've got kids that stay home, stay home and get things done. It's so much easier than filling up your schedule with a million things. Otherwise your house is going to be looking like this right here. And that's okay for a season, but stay home. It's a good thing. So we're going to get moving. I'm going to get moving. I'm going to go get some more coffee here, start cleaning up, get my sink filled up because you know, we got dishes to wash. It's going to be a great day. You ready for a great day? It's going to be a good day. It's Monday. You're here. You woke up. You're alive. You're breathing. We're going to have a great day today. You're going to get things done. Remember, do what you can do. Only you. If you can clean up your kitchen, clean up your kitchen. If you can't, that's okay. If you can just clean your floor today, clean your floor. Whatever you can do in your season in life. So, all right, you ready? All right, let's go. First things first, if you have a smell in your kitchen, identify the smell, go to the root of the smell. The smell in my kitchen right now is my dirty dishes in the sink here. So we're gonna fill this up to get rid of the stink. Dink. If you start doing your dishes and you realize that some are still stuck on your food, just let them soak a little bit longer. Longer, if <laughs> water, longer. If you let them soak a little bit longer, they will just the, everything will just kind of fall off. So I'm getting all these washed here. There really wasn't that many. It's the silverware that takes forever. I'm like, oh my goodness, so much silverware individual because you have to wipe every single thing. But it's good. And then I have my pans. I did really good. I put water in them last night. The macaroni and cheese one I didn't very well. So um, I'm just going to fill this up with hot soapy water and let it soak in the sink while I continue to clean up my kitchen. And I'll come back to it. You could scrub this and get it off. But you know what? Why scrub? Just come back to it eventually. So that's going to sit. And then I'm just going to continue on doing cleaning. Okay, now wiping the microwave, I think, is the cleanest our microwave has ever been. We got two different covers sent to us. One was a purple one, like if you can see is in here, and then um, a glass top one. The purple one has actually worked really nice because it's a lot lighter. So that works out good in here. I'm wiping everything down the stove is a little dirty, but I'm just flinging the stuff on the floor. Anybody else fling their food on the floor? <laughs> I normally wouldn't, but I know that I'm going to vacuum the floor. So this is good. Just wiping everything down, getting it clean. And then um, the candy dishes over here, remember I was like, is this gonna be one of those the kids eat them all the time? No, actually they haven't. It's been really, really good. So the one has Snickers all in it. And so that's like the one that nobody really likes, the Snickers candy bar. So I'll probably take those out and say those. I can mix those for like an apple salad or something, but um, they didn't really like them for picking out themselves. So I'm gonna refill these today. So this has worked out really good for when we get school done and for if we need a little quick snack. So I do love my little containers over here. So not bad, not bad cleanup for not really doing anything this weekend. Just a good wipe and everything. The floor's got stuff all over it. Like I feel sticky, you know, pasta noodles, but that's okay. Where it's good, the vacuum's gonna get it. I haven't hung a towel on my little oven here in a long time. It's like, they just get stuck on the counter. The kids fling them somewhere or put them somewhere else and they just take up space anywhere. Oh, so good, it's always just sitting on the countertop. All right, I'm gonna go on to my dining room now. So I've got all the groceries on the table here. So what I'm gonna do is take the stuff that goes into my kitchen here and put on the counter. My goal is to get my floor swept up. And then anything that goes in the hallway, I'm gonna take it to the hallway and just set it roughly on the shelf for right now. I'll put it away in just a few minutes just to get it going so I can get the floors picked up because I want to get the robots going because that's important to get those going because it'll take a little bit of time to clean. Okay, the kitchen and dining room pretty much clean up. There's not much on the floor. There was like one pair of shoes. I don't even know if you saw me pick those up or not. And then um, my slippers, that's it. <laughs> so easy cleanup. There's a few things over here, like the wallet that I had to, uh, that I washed. So I need to put that and get Jensen's money back in there because you know that happened to go through the wash. It's good. And we got a few things over here. We had a drone we were using 
and just little and put my candle light my candle because you know even though you get rid of the, the source the smell it still has that lingering odor in the background probably boil some vinegar and water but i'll just burn my banana nut candle so this is good getting this cleaned up in here so we can run the vacuum and then i'll put my groceries away in a little bit Okay, the only toys I'm picking up nowadays is Maxine's. <laughs> no kid toys, it's all Maxine's toys on the floor. So easy, clean up here, start the vacuums. light my blueberry cobbler candle in here and put this in the living room so I got the banana and the blueberry I think those will be nice scents together I'm gonna leave my neck massager here because I feel like later today my neck is gonna be a little bit sore and I'm gonna need that so that'll stay in this chair as well before I get going clean up the living room, I'm gonna throw a little laundry in because um, that's gonna take some while and some towels. So I'll get those washing. Then I'll go back in my living room. I gotta vacuum the couches and blow up the fireplace. That's something I do every single year as well. So let me grab some towels up so I can wash them. We're doing so good on laundry. There's not like that much laundry, which is amazing. Usually we have a ton of laundry, but keeping up on it pretty regular, it's been good spreading it out. It gets there. Now we're gonna vacuum, vacuum the couches off real good. Just get the hairs off from Maxine. I'm gonna take a little break here from cleaning. I have to do more work, of course, but I want to clean up my gas fireplace. And I thought, let me do this while the vacuums are going before the vacuums, cause I can suck up all the dirt. So we have a gas fireplace here. We don't, it's one of those things at Christmas we always like, oh, let's let's start the fireplace and we do it and then it gets so hot in here. We're like, oh my gosh, I'm sweating to death. So we didn't use it at all last year. The year before we had some power outages, so we turned it on because it does, we can use that for heat for the house up here. But the problem is it just gets so hot in this room. So when we first moved in here, obviously it wasn't super clean because what happened is my ceilings got black soot all over them, kind of like a candle. I was like, what is all this black stuff on my ceiling? Hello, it was from my fireplace. So <laughs> we used to like probably a few more times when we first moved in. And then I realized, wow, that's ruining my ceiling. So I'm like very cautious to use it because I'm like, my goodness, I don't want to put black stuff on my ceiling because uh, it was a lot of work to repaint the house. <laughs> but if we have to use it, we will. It's fun once in a while, the kids are like, let's turn on and sit in front of the fire. But we did it all last year. It was never that cold. So you literally could turn on just for a few minutes and then this whole room is heated really well. You just turn the fan on that. But you have to, I had, um, I had taken, because well, what happened is the flames come up and burn the logs. That's not good. And so, you know, that's what creates the black soot. So I had a, the guy come out from our propane company and redo this for me and let me know how it is. And then he told me, go get a can of air and every single year spray off all your vents and your little um wherever the, the outlet where it comes out at so that's fine it's like ten dollars a can of air which is fine we do it i do it twice a year but i found now they have air duster so i got this one here this air duster it's cordless and powerful it blows the air so people get it i know to clean out like their cars you know like different vents or computers things like that but for myself i'm like you know what this will be in the long run, it'll be better for me to have something like this and look, look at, it just plugs in and charges. So, and then I don't have to keep buying the can of air because can of air is great. But then I'm like, oh, I have to go get a can of air. So this, I just plug in and use. So this has been really good to be able to use. I used to, I'm gonna use it on my laptops. You blow up the stuff. It's like an air gun. It's like an air gun for your house, which is kind of neat. So I'm just gonna blow this out in here and make sure I get all the dust ready for all the dust to fly. Yeah, well, it's ready for all the dust to fly out. Let me turn my light on because it's dark in here. All right, let's see how dirty Amy's fireplace is. It's pretty dirty. All 
All right, dusty, that's for sure. But this is good now. My fireplace cleaned up or whenever I use it. I'm gonna keep sneezing. So I put do this once once a year. Once I do it once, and if we use it, I'll do it again just to clean it up. But this is good. Just blow off the dust. Now I'm all stuffy, so don't mind that. But this is the one I got here. I'll link this one below. Not bad. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go blow off my Lap no, is my laptop here? It is here. Let me go blow up my laptop. That'll be something. Hey, you know, you know what? Just blow, let's blow everything off. That'll be great. Probably get for like flowers and stuff like that. Hmm. I'm sure you could do a whole lot in your car. Oh yeah. Okay, let me clean up this here. I like this. It's kind of like my um, electric leaf blower. Look, look how dirty that is. This is gonna be great to blow stuff off. I have to go up to my, instead of dusting, just blow everything. That works. <laughs> I'm gonna, you know what? I just have, like, I don't clean behind my TV. I'm telling you what. Okay, it's like a leaf blower for your house. N yeah, not bad. So instead of buying a bunch of cans, get yourself a cordless blower. So not bad. I'm gonna put this back in the little case. So I've got it. <sighs> okay, very good. So now the rest of my day, the rest of my morning here. So the laundry's going. This is clean. This is something I wanted to get done. And then, what else do we need to do? We need to put away our stuff. All this stuff right here. So let me um, put, a, it's basically set in here. Okay, so in here, this, we cleaned it pretty good. I mean, it's been staying clean, which is good. The only thing I have, let me see, put this up. Is, here's Ruby's trees. So let me put, actually, I have another guinea pig food. Guinea pig food. Hamster. I have two containers of hamster food. So Swiss will be well taken care of. But Ruby's bones here, she likes. These are her munchy bones right here that she likes. These are her munchy bones right here that she likes. So one of my viewers, so sweet, bought dog treats for Ruby. You must. So let me ask, do you have a coon hound dog or do you just love Ruby because she's so cute? I think she's so pretty. So this worked out really good putting in this container. I had them in the round one over there, but it doesn't fit this way. So these I'm able to turn it on its side and then put it in. She takes her bone every night. Every night before she comes in, I give her one of her munchie bones and she goes and lays down. Use these orange ones up. They like them. I just need to put those in the food. Please use those up. And then we have these I did open up. I've got some order for mixing hers to come. Probably this week. Perfect. Okay. Looking good for the dog food animal food closet. So this is done here. Okay, another thing I'm gonna do today that Maxine is not gonna be happy about is I'm going to wash her bedding. So I did this last time, put it outside and she really kept going out there like, give me my t my stuff. So I'm gonna clean it really good in the washer and then um, she'll have a nice clean bedding. So we'll get this. I'm gonna do a quick wipe in my bath. Normally I do a deep clean in here, not today. I'm just gonna do a quick one. Wipes and that's it. Real simple, easy. Okay, in the bedroom here. Just making the bed real simple and easy. And I'll probably run the vacuum in here. The bathroom's super easy to clean. Not much to pick up. And then who else opens their windows? I, I, even if it's winter, I like to crack my window. <laughs> just for some fresh air. Is it just me? Or, I mean, just for a little bit. Just get that fresh air in the house. I don't know, something about it. I'm gonna put the food away in the hallway closet here. This is like our extra storage. Okay, got everything put away here. I had to hide my cereal in the back there because I've already filled this thing up here and I don't want to, you know, mess that up. So that, that's hidden so nobody eats it. I'm gonna flip my laundry now and then I'll move to the kitchen.
The last major thing I'm gonna do is steam up the floor. I like to get that done before the kids come out and then everything else I can just do whenever. So I'm actually still on time, still well before the kids are even awake. I don't have to make breakfast. I was gonna think I had to, but I have cereal because I have milk now and there is also pancakes in here. So no need to worry about making breakfast. So this is good. See, when you start thinking about things and they make it wants to overwhelm you, you have to step back and go, okay, what is it I need to do? So I knew what I had to do this morning and just got it done. And instead of like worrying, I'm not going to get it done. I'm not going to get it done trying to race. I was like, you know what? When I get to it, I'll get to it. And if it takes longer, it takes longer. It's okay. And if I don't get to it, that is quite all right too. If I didn't wash my floors today, we would still survive with floors. It might be a little dirty, but that's okay. Just wash your feet tonight. <laughs> so let's steam up. Last thing I do is put my chairs down. Then I, when I do that, I know that, all right, I can start my day today. Okay, very small little groceries. I was gonna put them away later, but there's not that many. So I'm just gonna put them away right now. So simple, not a whole lot. my little scrub daddy here. I got the scrub mommy, so scrub daddy obviously is nice and non-stick pans. Let's hope it works. I'm hoping it'll scrub like the pants up instead of using my metal scrubber. I'm gonna put that right there. I don't mind pouring this right on top of the other sugar. It will get used up. It never goes to waste. It doesn't sit here for longer than a few months. So I'm not worried. You could dump it out in uh, it, but it's fine. Okay, getting these bananas in here. I started putting the one bunch on there and they were more yellow than the other ones, so that's why I kind of pulled them out. It's good, I'll leave them on the counter, they will get eaten up, that's the key. Okay, I'm just gonna put my bananas right here so everybody can kiss. If they see, they might use them. If they're over there, it's kind of like out of sight. And, my, and I have a couple avocados, I'm gonna put these just right here. Not like a specific, got my tomatoes over there. I feel like I should put those over here. It's one of those like you don't see it. You have to remember, this is like my cluttered corner that you guys don't always see. These are not mine. So this is here. I just need to put this stuff away. This is gonna work. I had to put this down here. Okay, stuff shoved everywhere. That needs a cleaning under there eventually. I was just looking for the spray bottle for the boy's hair. I'm like, where did that go? This is it. It was in that cupboard. Somebody must have thought it was vinegar. So I'm gonna put this back in the boy's bathroom. This, I'm certain it's the Norwex powder. We've been using our magic eraser, so no need to, I usually use this in my tub. So I've been doing this in the laundry. It works good for laundry soap too. And then Maxie needs a flea detox again. Not that she has fleas, but it's just, it gets warm and it gets cold and like tight. She has flea treatment on, but they still like coming because she's running outside in that mountain up there. And that mountain up there, <sighs> the little credit is just not all the way cold yet. It's cold this morning. I think it's 49, or it was, but it's going to be 70 today. So they just breed. It's, it's good. What are you going to do? It's what happens here. So I am finished, I think, for what I have to do right now. I'm going to put some ice in because I've already, I'm going to close that. You didn't even see that. I'm filling my cup up with ice. I'll shut that in just a minute because it'll turn on and it's noisy. So what I'm going to do now is go get the kids, make sure they're awake. They're feeling me a little tired because they had a long weekend. But that's fine. And, and oh, we're back to this again. Vinegar and soap because of nasty bugs. But that's okay. That's just part of 
the warm weather. So anyways, it's good. It's good. So I'm going to, I'm finished with my work work that I have to do. We'll do cleanup and stuff. And then um, I have school today. That is what we're going to focus on. So for the next couple hours, I'm going to be MIA, missing in action, and sitting over there at my chair and doing school with the kids, getting that done, and then they'll move on to their individual stuff. I'm gonna pull out, I have a ton of fragments in the refrigerator, lots of leftovers. Everybody's gonna eat some leftovers for lunch, and then I don't know, I haven't even thought about dinner. Well, I did, I was thinking maybe those taco cups, something fun for a Monday. We'll see, we'll see how the day goes and what they feel like eating, so. All right, it's been a good morning, nine o'clock. That's the time I need to get done, it's actually 9.05, so not bad for filming and getting everything done that I need to get done, so my list, oh, you know what, I'm looking. I did want to fill up my candy jar. That was the only thing I didn't do. Clean fireplace, school out, and fill candy jar. So I'll fill candy jar in a little bit. And we are did the fireplace. So not bad. Not bad. Let's just keep going. I'm doing round one of wake up the kids. It's going to take some time. They're a little tired. So I'm going to fill up my candy jars. I got that time. Okay, so since Snickers didn't go over very well, I mean, they'll eat them, I guess, but they're not like favorite. So I'm going to put those in here. These got melted in the car, so like, are they the favorites? No, but hopefully I will eat them. I have one little piece of liquor in here. I'm sure someone will eat today, and I'm gonna put the firecracker, firework Oreos in here. That works, that's, that's something I wanted to do. These I'll put away for like apple salad. They'll eat them that way, but just not that way. This one put on the counter, somebody's gonna eat it. So I think that for um, what we'll do for dinner tonight is those taco cups. So I'm gonna go get some meat out of my freezer. So this can thaw, and then I, I don't have any refried beans in the freezer, I'm gonna set this here. But I do have some in a can, right? And then I'm gonna get my tortillas out of here. So look at that, that looks really cool. So we'll have this for dinner. I'm gonna take out my tortilla rounds as well. Along with 35 beans because in the refrigerator here, let's see what we got. That's my freezer's pretty empty. Um, I have this black bean and corn salsa and this queso. So we can um, heat some of that up and eat that. Just, I think you can dip it. Eat that. So I'm thinking anything else. Today, this is gonna be a leftover day. I'm gonna pull some soup down. I need to eat this as well. This we pulled out for lunch today. We'll eat that up. There's a few things. I'm just looking. I have a few sliders over here I made, and then there's pancakes. So that will be our lunch today. Easy. And then we'll do that for dinner. So feeling good, feeling really good. After looking at my cupboard and realize how dirty and much needed clean it is, I wrote down to later in the week. Oops, I just broke that off. Later in the week deep clean. So I have my deep cleaning schedule. We do just like what we have to do each week, break it up for the day, but every, I did, I mean, I'm not, I don't do it every month because we don't need to, but sometimes people do a, a spring cleaning, a fall cleaning. I don't do any of that. I just do it when the need arises. Usually it's every two to three months. So like, so this month, we're already into the month, but I will look and see what is the, the areas. I've broken up my house into four, five areas. Five areas is the freezer, four areas for the entire house to get done if I wanted to deep clean it in a month. So I will focus on getting that done because the holidays are gonna be here. Getting the house cleaned up and good before is good. And then, you know, the chaos, the holidays, and then after the new year, we'll do it again as well. So I'll probably, so later this week, since I'm going to be home more, I'm gonna focus on breaking that up, seeing what our chores are, and I'll write those down. Not today, because Monday's always busy, but then we'll do a little bit each day, just to get some of the deeper cleaning done, like the wiping the walls, the cleaning the cabinets, that kind of stuff, just because then it doesn't get so overwhelming. You can just do it once a year or twice a year. I just do it like three or four times a year, less, so it's not so much. So, all right, I'm gonna go wake up the kids again. <laughs> They're having a hard time. They, they had a long, good weekend, so they are gonna be tired, but we're gonna get there. So now I'm done with my stuff. The only thing I wanna do is get school out, and I will do that when they're off doing their chores. So good day. It's like freezing right now, but it's going to be a good day today. So I'm going to bring you over here. The next thing you see will be me doing school with the children. Isn't that pretty coming through the window? Can you see? I don't know. I can't tell on the camera if it's really showing or not. It's just the pretty, I've got like the orange in that in here. And then if you look out the window, it's not going to zoom, but it looks really pretty because the leaves are changing color and it's good. So, all right, get kids. We can do school.
Okay, I know it's dark in here. So I got our large, our large, I call it large, I got our together school time done. That is about, it's about 11.30 now, so we got to finish up there, and then they're off doing chores, and then they're gonna start their school pages. So I usually get out their pages at the end of the week. I did not last week, so I, I have them stored in this dresser here. So I'm just gonna get those out so I can put them in their folder. I ripped them out of the comprehensive curriculum books beforehand and so um, just so I wouldn't have to rip out a bunch of pages and all I'm gonna do is grab a page from each one real simple so this just gives them extra pages to do during their day so um, on top of the school books that they have Okay, so got all the kids' school out and their things, so now they can come when they are done with their chores and do their pages as they please. So this kind of frees me up to do a few things. I think I'd give Maxine a bath. You know, little things that I'll do. Might not film. Might film. We'll see how life goes. So just continuing with our day. Okay, decided to come outside. The kids are doing their chores in the house, and then um, I'm going to wipe my car. I cleaned it last week, but I never like did the leather cleaner, so I want to wipe that off. Okay, it is beautiful outside. It's gonna be another great, I'm loving our fall days. It is just gorgeous out here. So now I gotta go back in. <sighs> I gotta go back in. I'm getting some computer work done. Usually I kind of help them with chores. I'm not doing that today. I'm deciding to get my work done. So I'm doing all the little stuff, like I had to do an invoice, um, I had to order some things, answer some comments. That's what I'm doing in between, and I want to clean my car. So that's done, let's go in. All right, so it's been a busy, get one piece of hair here. It has been a busy afternoon. It is already three o'clock right now. Time is flying. It can like go so quick. I'm like, my goodness, my day is going, but it's been a good day. A really good day, a very good day. When you have those good days, you have to say, thank you, Lord, because you know what? You're gonna have bad days. You're gonna have those bad days where it's like, oh, can I just get to bed tonight? Or a few more hours and it's bedtime. And that happens a lot sometimes, but today's been a day where it's like, okay, it's been a good day. So it's been good. So we're, it's been good. No more, it's been good. So what I'm gonna do now is start on dinner. I've got a couple of kids finishing up their individual schoolwork. We're gonna do those tacos tonight and nacho chips because um, we're gonna have a movie night tonight. So we decided, why don't we eat and have dinner probably downstairs while we're watching the movie something different so instead of sitting at the table eating we're just gonna sit downstairs and watch a movie so usually we've been switching through and different kids we would pay everybody pick a movie out and then one person would get to choose from that pile of movies and so i've gone through three of the kids so far so i think it's madeline's madeline's gonna do it tonight so she gets to pick the movie whatever she wants to watch and we're gonna have that tonight and have dinner it's gonna be good and then that's our end to our day so it's been a good monday a great Monday, a really good Monday today. So what I'm gonna do is get out my stuff. I've got tortilla pockets right here. Oh yeah. So what I'm gonna do is let's say I probably have sauce right in it. I've got to put my hamburger. I just want to see how they package this. Oh nice, good, perfect. And we have other tortillas too if we need it. So basically it is taco sauce and seasoning so what I'm gonna do how cool is that no mess what a genius idea genius idea I wonder if these are new they've got to be right new obviously are they new yes they're new 
Great idea. So I'm gonna get my pan out over here and get my hamburger cooking. put this on because I always splatter with grease. I'm going to make some rice up because um, they do like rice. I'm just going to make a small, small, small batch. So I'm going to get my rice up too. I'm going to rinse my rice here. What's that, buddy? Add a little bit. This is really good. Sludge over here. This this is real life here with the sink. That's what it looks like today. We haven't loaded it. This is really good. Tomato soup base. Uh oh, it's a little hardened. When we go to the Mexican restaurants. That's what they put with their rice. It's really good. Perfect. I'm gonna put this over on the stove, and then I'm gonna load. Sorry, to load the dishwasher. Okay, so I just added my um, seasoning to this. I'm just gonna cook this for a few minutes and then I'm just gonna move it over in the pan and put the refried beans in here. That's gonna be it. And then this will be our pan. The rice will be boiling here soon enough. I'll turn that down and this is dinner, easy. So much easier. Nice taco easy dinner tonight. That's a good thing. We'll have our queso or, or our good um, salsa. And it'll be a good night. I think I have ice cream we can do. There's chips. There's all. There's lots of snacks. You know, plenty to have. So this is done right here. The lid on it until dinner time. The rice. I'm gonna sh I'm gonna shut that off too. Let that sit. So that's all I have to do for that. And all I have to do is chop up some lettuce for the tacos. Let me just do that real quick. Okay, I don't know if Maxine is appreciative or not. She got a bath and her bed got all clean. Are you happy for your clean bed? She's like, I don't know, it's all feels different, mom. I don't know if I love it. <laughs> Somebody organized her spot well. So I'm done in the kitchen now, got the lettuce all cut up. So what I'm gonna do now is sit over at my desk here and edit for a little bit because tonight we're gonna have movie night. So I don't wanna be working late this evening. So I'm gonna sit down. I think they're finishing up their school. It's gonna be good. So I'm just gonna sit and edit. There's Maxine, getting her sunshine on. I'm getting the sunshine, the only little bit of warm sunshine. <laughs> He's like, I'm hanging out here, right here, mommy. <laughs> and then here's Ruby. Did we, I scared her coming out here. I'm so sorry. Maxine, that's Ruby's food. Oh, I wanted to show you the leaves are changing. It's so pretty outside. Such beautifulness. Fall time, and we get mostly, I mean, we get some red and orange, but it's just pretty. Pretty leaves changing. Is that gonna work? That's gonna work right there. So it has been a good day today. I feel like a very successful Monday. This week, I really plan on being home because I have a lot of stuff I wanna get done. Just, I mean, like school and routine, that kind of stuff, that's all important things. Kids kids thrive on routine. As much as craziness is good, routine is a good thing too. So it was just good, even just now, Autumn just came up and she's like, are we gonna do our audiobook time? So it's a little bit later and that's okay, it's 4.30. I said, yeah, let's do it at 4.30. It's actually 4.20. I said, yeah, let's do the audiobook time. So we're gonna sit, they, she's doing a puzzle. Jensen's putting together a model, Madeline. She likes to do slime, painting. And Steven, I'm not sure what he's gonna do today. 
I'm not sure. Usually he likes to do Legos and paint Legos, but we're going to see what he wants to do today. So it's just I've been a good day. It's been a good day. So they're going to work on that. I'm going to work on editing. I did a little bit of editing so far, and I just need to finish that up. That's why I'm going to close today's video. And then um, we're going to wait and have dinner a little bit later tonight. So we figured we'd wait till everybody can get here and we're going to do dinner and we're going to have tacos and chips and queso and salsa and we're going to watch a movie tonight. I don't know what Maddie's picked to watch, but we're going to watch something fun and just have a good night. Trying to do that, have a good movie night each week. Setting like certain things for the kids to look forward to is good. Like routine is an important thing. And so it doesn't happen every night. Absolutely not. My life gets busy. Your life gets busy. But set up like at least once a week. Like we aim for once a week movie night. Can we do more? Absolutely. But once a week family movie night. So we've been able to do that and keep that and then just try to keep that consistency going. So then they look forward to like, okay, movie night. So that's what we're going to finish up our night doing tonight. So it's just been good. It's been a good day. It's beautiful out. I have, I realized there's bedding up on the the railing up there. I got to get that up the, the bedding and put that inside. Make beds. We have one basket of laundry put away and that's it. D dishes are going to go in the dishwasher, turn the dishwasher on and tomorrow's going to be a new day and you're going to see me in the morning. I will get up and make breakfast and make lunch and make dinner for tomorrow. Maybe brunch. Maybe I'll do like a big brunch tomorrow. I think I'll do a big brunch. Maybe I'll make some treats in there too. I think I'll do some treats in there too. So it's going to be a good day. So I hope that your day is going well. And if it doesn't, guess what? Tomorrow is a new day. If it's bad and all you're looking for is the countdown until the nighttime hour, that's an okay thing too, right? Because tomorrow's a new day, right? It's like a new day. Chance to <laughs> start all back over again and refresh yourself and go better. That's okay, that's that's how life goes. So, so you have a fantastic rest of your day. Remember, you are designed, you are created, and you are selected by God to do great, wonderful things. You are, and I am excited to see you tomorrow. Another, another video, we're gonna do another video tomorrow. So thank you for watching our family. Thank you for following me along on my journey, my walk with the Lord, my walk in life, and how, how we do it. It's like, it's not some great, wonderful thing. I'm literally just a mom. I'm just a mom of six kids at home, seven kids at home, and just living, just living life. And this is what happens. This is what you do. I'm like, sure there's no bears. Living life and trying to do everything and to honor God in what I do and to bring Him glory and also to just walk how you can walk. Everyday person can walk with the Lord and you can see the things that He will do in your life to bring peace, to bring calmness, to, you know, reduce that craziness, that anxiety, that stress. It's like God wants to do that in your life. He wants to bring that peace to you. So that is my hope and my prayer for you that when you watch my channel, that's what you see and hopes that you want to deepen your relationship with the Lord so that you can walk in that peace. You can walk in those blessings. You can walk in those promises that he has for you. It's a good thing. So, all right, I'm going to see you guys again tomorrow with another video. Have a beautiful, beautiful rest of your day. See you tomorrow. Bye.